Ryan, you want to turn him around? All right. Wait, wait, wait. He's going to it's only a coincidence that I'm sitting as close as possible to my old seat as I can. <laughs> my, wife, my wife stuck me here, so. Well, no. What? You absolutely belong. Well, well don't, uh, I need no for it. Uh, I'm not running for election for speaker, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, uh, when I was informed I was speaking, uh, Tom said, make it short and poignant. And I've been thinking in my head ever since that to do just that. Don't forget, when you're a speaker of the house, the one person at the house that can't speak is the speaker. <laughs> Very frustrating. Anyway, it's a place. I would say it's nice to be back, but I'm not back. Because even though the GPS might bring me here, and we're at the same latitude and longitude, this ain't the same place. Look at it. <laughs> and uh, one little sidebar. What you don't know about me is in the Chinoy family when I was growing up, Mark Vital mentioned wood paneling. Well, I want to tell you, in my house, wood paneling was a word you don't think, you don't speak, you don't even, you don't conceive of it because I am the grandson, the son, and the brother of people of, who people who were who hung wallpaper. All right, that was a curse word, wood paneling. So it was hard for me. Now I don't have to look at wood paneling anymore when I come in here. But it really is great to be back here. Um, for another reason, that is, when I had my stroke a year and a half ago, my, a year and a half, um, one thing I always wanted was, I think I'm lying there in my rehab, because I was in rehab for four, I was out institutionalized for four months after that, that, that bad day. And I had to have a good time to think. And the question is, I'm speaker, I was speaker at the time, when do I leave, how do I, close my chapter with involvement in NJGA and I'm thinking, and you sit there and very often you know something bad happened but you can't rationalize it in your head. The loss of a loved one or something and I had to come to grips with something that I lost something. And uh, one thing that's very important to me is that, and I think in life, is that when you do something a long time and you finally do it for the last time, you want to know that. At the end of the president's term, he knows when it's his last morning presiding. But it was very important to me that my last, that I knew when I, my last meeting of the House was my last meeting. And that's why I really tried and did preside over that last meeting uh, after my stroke. And I wanted to induct my successor, which I was uh, happy to do. And I want to tell you, and also tell you, Ed, after the first 20 years, you don't worry about, is it, you know, you'll find that. You'll find that after the first 20 years, you'll get it. You won't worry about situations you get into. Because I remember, an example of that is in uh, January of, 2000, of 1981, when uh, George Bush, the f father, was uh, inaugurated president, there was a picture published along the news, and Ronald Reagan, who was leaving the, it was a picture of the last time he was leaving the White, the Oval Office as pre, as uh, as president, and he just wanted to have one last look and look at it. And that meeting gave me one last chance to leave as speaker. Ronald Reagan took one last look, threw some jelly beans on the ground for the squirrels, and then left as president, never to come back as president. So I was very grateful to leave that meeting. Okay, remember, after the first 20 years, you sort of get it down. Uh, I want to say that uh, one of the thoughts I had was, since that fateful day, June 3rd, 2018, I lost a lot. I lost my ability to practice dentistry. I can barely use my left hand, and I'm left-handed. Uh, I lost my practice. Uh, I lost the ability to drive and all that other stuff, although we're Elaine and are getting along. <laughs> we, are, we are, no, we're getting around. You know, we're here, we do go out, we do things now. And for those of you who know, I'm able to walk with a cane slowly, which I really appreciate. On a flat uh, surface. Huh? On a flat surface. On a flat <laughs> surface, right. <laughs> That's why I couldn't go up the ramp. I couldn't walk up the ramp today. Uh, so I'm lying there and thinking uh, that I wanted to have that chance to do that one last thing. I was denied the chance of my last board meeting and stuff like that. But even though I lost a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff I still have and I'm grateful to have. And one of them is the love of my wife and my son. You know Elaine, and a lot of you met my son Adam, 
whose claim to fame now is the father of my two grandsons. <laughs> All right? So I didn't lose my family, and I'm very grateful that I look out here and I didn't lose my friends. So thank you for being my friends. I'm not going to sing the theme to Golden Girls. <laughs> Happy Trails was enough. <laughs> but uh, thank you for having me here, and I've really appreciated the uh, ribbon. So now I have the claim to fame that I'm the first person who needed to use the ramp to get in, who had to use the ramp and could get in any other way. So thank you very much.